Argentina's fiercely polarized presidential election is over. And populist Javier Malay came out ahead. Right-wing economist and TV personality securing the presidency after running an eccentric campaign promising to rein in soaring inflation and fight socialist values. Supporters flooding the streets of Buenos Aires hopeful for change at a time when the poverty rate has reached 40 percent and the country with the third largest economy in Latin America. <inaudible> Mele is securing the famous Casa Rosada after a contentious runoff with more than 55 percent of the vote compared with his rival, Argentina's economy minister, Sergio Massa, the largest margin of victory since the country returned to democratic elections in 1983. <inaudible> A controversial figure known by his fans as the crazy and the wig for his larger-than-life personality and hair. At times, compared to Brazil's president, Jair Bolsonaro, and former U.S. president, Donald Trump, who congratulated Millet on his victory, writing, quote, make Argentina great again on his truth social platform. Before rattling Argentinian politics, Javier Millet was a TV pundit, love for his hot takes on the economy and politics that boosted ratings. What do you see as his biggest challenge going into office? The getting forward some of his critical proposals through the Argentine Congress is going to be a challenge, as well as the financial situation overall. The Argentine peso is viewed by many as, you know, as essentially being uh, worthless. He's a self-declared anarcho-capitalist, a libertarian and staunch supporter of the free market. His fight against inflation, which has topped 140 percent, is centered around closing the nation's central bank. Dollar as the economy is obviously incredibly problematic and um, in so far as how to actually do it and also a country of the size of Argentina is, is challenging as well. Argentina's recent legalization of abortion is also in Malay's crosshairs. Malay has proposed a plan to repeal the law while juggling the notion that climate change is not a human-made issue. The sizable victory of Javier Malay shows the discontent of the Argentine people with their current status. All right, Stephen Romo joins us in studio now. Stephen, he's called Brazil's president a, quote, angry communist. What does that say uh, about his style? Obviously, Argentina and Brazil share a border. Yeah, the relationship between Brazil and Argentina, obviously very important. That uh, sort of uh, harsh words they've had back and forth raised a lot of concerns. But Lula actually congratulated the new government of Argentina, hoping that things will smooth out. But the expert we talked to for this piece is saying that the ideological differences between Malay and the rest of the region could cause quite a bit more tension, something we're going to have to watch going forward. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.